Welcome back. In this module, we're going to be talking about page breaks, line breaks, section breaks, and column breaks. So we've already examined the toolbar right up here. We've gone over that. Now we are going to be talking a little bit more in depth about what each button does so that you know how to use the Word document uh, aspect of pages. So here, I want to show you the first button we're going to explore is this one, Insert. And we're going to talk in this module for about page breaks, line breaks, section breaks, column breaks. You might also notice that some of these options are in the menu bar up here. So if you click on insert there, you'll also see the page break, line break, section break, column break. Uh, the toolbar just makes it a little easier, just has it right there for you. So what are these? Well, I'm, we're going to talk about these uh, in this module. First of all, we want to start by viewing our page thumbnails. So that gives us our pages here on the side. And uh, I copied some text here. It's all fictitious text, so never mind this. But I want to show you what a page break does. So let's just pretend that you went ahead and actually let me undo that. You went ahead and you typed this all up, right? You did all of this. Great job. And by the way, if you see these uh, red lines, dotted lines underneath these words is because it's highlighting that these are misspelled, but this is all fictitious anyway, so obviously it's going to have a lot of misspellings. <laughs> these words don't make any sense. All right, at least not in English they don't. Okay, so here at the bottom of page five, you'll see, okay, well, what if I wanted to go to page six? Let's say I finish this and I want to go to page six. Well, you have a couple of options. The The most basic one would be the page break. So if you go to insert page break, that allows you now to go to a new page. So this is now page six or page six. And I can continue to type in whatever I want here in page six, and I can continue my document. And notice how there was a, a smooth break from the end of page five to the beginning of page six, and now I've started a new uh, page. Now, that is a page break. That's what it does. And although it's invisible, there really is a character there. And let me show you what I mean. If we go to view and we say show invisibles, you'll notice that there's a little line here that indicates the page break and you see a little page right there which lets us know there is a page break there. Now if I go back here and I just hit delete, notice it deletes that page break and this text is now along with everything else that I typed in. But let's say I wanted that page break back, I can go to insert, page break, and it stops right there and it allows me to see the invisibles. By the way, these little blue dots are just indicating that there is a space uh, in between there. Now we don't see it when it's invisible, but if you say show invisibles, it'll start showing it. And then here on the side, that is a paragraph break that we'll talk about in just a moment. But that's a page break. Now, uh, a page break is fine, nothing wrong with it. However, if you say you wanted to move this down, uh, you can't because I'm trying to click and drag these. I can't because that's just a page break. Um, this can be all part of the same section. However, let's say that I wanted to, instead of doing a page break, I actually wanted a section break. So right here, you'll see it says this is now page six. So here I'm going to insert, instead of a page break, I'm going to go for a section break. Okay, and if we go back, you'll notice that it looks almost the same, but the icon is slightly different. Well, what's the difference here? The difference here is that now it groups these as a section. You'll see pages one, two, three, four, five. This is a section. And if, let's say I wanted this, let's say this was section two. Let me just type that up and call it section two. If I wanted this section to go above it, now I can because these are sections similar to maybe like a chapter uh, in a book, right? So this is one section. This These five pages are a section. So you're basically indicating I've completed an entire section of my document. And uh, where you put that section break actually matters, right? So if, let's say, I'm on page three right now, and let's say I put a section break here. Uh, actually, let me go to page uh, four, and let me put a, a section break here. I'm going to 
put another return there. I'm going to do a section break here. Now I'm indicating that, okay, wait, so now section one, it's his own thing. Then two, three, and four are their own section. Then you have five and six as, as their own section, and I can now move sections around. So that's something to keep in mind. That's the difference between a section break and a page break. So that's helpful to know. Uh, but you've got some other things here. Those aren't the only breaks we've got. Uh, Let's go here, let's go back to the document. You also have things like line breaks and you'll have column breaks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to edit and uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking for select all right there or you can use command A as well. And I'm gonna hit delete. Okay, so now that deletes all of my text. I have a clean slate. Uh, per se. So now I want to show you what a line break is and then we'll talk a little bit about column breaks. So a line break is just that. It means that the line breaks, okay? Now there's a difference between a paragraph break and a line break. So let me show you this again. Let me make sure that we can view our invisibles. Yep, we can view our invisibles. So this is a line break. I want to show you this. So if I go and say insert and go to line break, you're going to see a line break there. Okay, I'm going to hit return a couple times. And when I hit return, by the way, you'll see you get what's called a paragraph break. What's the difference between a line break and a paragraph break? Okay, so let's start again with the line break. This is a line break. A line break just takes you to a new line. This is the second line, okay, in the line break, okay. All right, so now I'm actually going to do a paragraph break, and you'll notice it really kind of just does the same thing. This is just another line, but with a paragraph break. So you might say, what's the difference, right? They're, they're both doing the same thing. By the way, I'm creating these paragraph breaks by just simply clicking on return and uh, that creates that paragraph break, which is probably something you're pretty used to by now. Okay, so what's the difference between these two? Let me show you. So with a paragraph break, from time to time you may have, and we'll go to styles here, and you may have bulleted items. So we're gonna do text bullets and here we're gonna say, okay, this is item one. And if I hit a paragraph break, this is item two and I'll hit a paragraph break and then this is going to be item three. But what if I wanted to put something immediately under item three but I didn't want to create another bullet point because every time I hit return so far I'm getting a bullet point. This is when you would use a line break. So you can do it by going to line break here or you can also do shift plus return for now i'm just going to do a line break from here and watch what what happens this now describes item three okay and maybe you can do something like an italicize here we can do maybe a bold and something like that right but now when i hit return I go back to my bullet, okay? So that's the difference. When you're using a paragraph break, you're essentially just starting a new paragraph. When you're using a line break, you're simply going to the next line regardless. Now, let's say I was done with my list. What I would do here is I would just hit return again, and that now puts me in a completely new paragraph, even outside of the bullets there. So I hope that explains that, the difference between a line break and a paragraph break. Uh, again, if you want a line break by just clicking on keys, just hold down the shift key as you're entering as you click return rather okay so we've got that now I am going to do command a which also selects all and click delete okay now let me show you the last thing we've got here and that's the column break okay so one of the things that you can do in pages is that you can have different columns right it's not just one column for everything so uh, envision and a magazine or a newspaper, for example. So hopefully I still have my 
yeah, I still have my dummy text here. I have a lot of text here. And let's say I wanted to divide this into columns rather than have all these pages, right? So one of the things that you can do is that you can head over, make sure that you are in format, right? If you're in document, you're not going to see this, but you want to be in format. And then you're going to go to the layout. The very first thing you're going to see here is columns. So what we want to do is we want to increase the number of columns. So right now I have three and you'll see all of my pages have three columns. But let's say, and I'm just going to maybe delete some text here. Let's go to our last column. Let's delete this, sorry, and maybe delete some here. What if I was done with this column here? At this point, I've got my period and I wanted to go to the third column. Well, you guessed it. This is where we're going to insert our column break. And now I can begin a new column. All right. And I can continue to type here or I can use my dummy text and continue there. And now you'll see that there is a column break right here and you go on uh, to the next column. So I hope that was helpful. Again, those are page breaks, line breaks, section breaks. Uh, if something wasn't clear, feel free to reach out to, to me and I'll be happy to answer as I get your information. All right. Thank you so much. We are going to be exploring some more. So join us for the next module.